Lesson 9.4 describes squares. We describe squares as shapes with four straight sides of equal length and four square vertices. These lines are straight. They don't curve at all. Some lines are straight and some lines are not straight. But these, these three lines, this red one is straight, this purple one is straight, and this green one is straight. There are no curves. These lines are not straight, they curve. The purple line has many curves. Some lines are straight and some are not straight. So sometimes we'll see straight lines and sometimes we won't. And if they're not straight, it's because they have a curve. When one line is just as long as another line, we say they have equal length. These two lines have equal length. An object's length is how long it is, and equal means the same. And the orange line and the purple line have equal length. And a square has four sides of equal length. All four sides are the same length. Now here we have four red lines of equal length. All four of these lines are the same length and we can arrange them into a square. I can put this one for the top. I can put this one for a side. Let's put it like this. I can put this one for the bottom. And I can put this one for the other side. And we can make a square. A square has four sides of equal length. In the last lesson, 9.3, we learned that a vertex is a corner. Here's a vertex, here's a vertex, here's a vertex, and here's a vertex. A vertex is where two lines meet. And we can make a vertex by putting two lines together so their ends meet. I can take these two red lines and put their ends together so they meet and we'll make a vertex right there. Some shapes like a square have square corners. We can fit another square into the corner to see how they line up on two sides. A square has four square corners. A square has four square vertices. So remember, each corner is called a vertex. More than one vertex are vertices. A square has four sides of equal length and four square vertices. We can draw a square on dot paper by making four lines of equal length. Each line will have the same number of spaces between their dots. If we draw a straight line with three spaces between its ends, we can go one space, two spaces, three spaces. We have one, two, three spaces. Then the other lines must have three spaces between their ends. That's to make a square. So we have this line. We can go one space, two space, three space. Then we can draw this line. One space, two space, three spaces. And then we can go up one space, two space, three spaces. Where the ends of the line meet will create a vertex. So where these lines meet, we have a vertex here. Where this line meets this line, we have a vertex here. Where this line meets this line, we have a vertex here. And where this line meets this line, we have a vertex here. And they're square vertices. We draw four lines of equal length for the sides of a square. 
So how many vertices does a square have? It has one, two, three, four vertices. And how many sides does a square have? It has one, two, three, four sides of equal length. In our next lesson, 9.5, we're going to identify and name triangles. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a really nice day. And please hit the like button. Bye.